Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. How are you doing today, my sister? Hello. Where, where do you find yourself up here? This is the side of what God called you, and that side is what, uh, yeah. w w which one is it? When I go on this side, the one on this side. Okay. The first one, Judah, right? That's good, but guess what, sis? You know how important it is for you to get yourself right? Okay. Especially you raising a little girl. Okay. You got, the thing is, a lot of us, we are getting judged. A lot of us are getting jacked up because we refuse to hearken to God's voice. God is, is giving you a way out for you to change, not only for yourself, but for your beautiful daughter you're raising. Giving her something to look up to. Our young ones don't have anything. Those that came before us didn't give us anything good to look up to. All they teach us is violence, poor mongers. Those are the things that we know. But guess what? You can't change that, sis. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you what God thinks of you. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. Listen to this. And if they apply to you, apply to your daughter too. 7 verse 6. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. God says you are holy unto him. To be holy is to set apart. Meaning it separates you from everybody else. Read. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. You hear that? He chose you to be special unto himself. Not like everybody else. Read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Do you know how heavy that is? God says he chose you above everyone. So, if that's true, if you are chosen to be above everybody, why are we in the bottom? What should you, was that? No, 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 it's something that we did, sis. Yeah, it's something that we, guess what? I'm, I'm showing you, I'm, I'm going to show it to you. Something that we did that we can change around. Because I'm not just going to point out the error. I'm going to show you the error and I'm going to show you what we can do to fix it. Watch this. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 15. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Now, this is Moses giving um, Israel a warning of things to come. Okay, listen to what he says. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. You hear the stipulation? He said, if, if. He said, it will happen if you don't listen to God's word. We to observe to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes which I command thee this day. Uh -huh. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All these curses will come upon Israel and overtake them. Is curses a good thing? Curses is not a good thing. You see us getting killed in the streets? It prophesies in the Bible. Okay. And yes, that's a curse. Right. Us um, living in the hood, the ghetto, that's a curse. Okay. But, but how can we? How can you break that? You okay, let me show you the solution. I'm gonna show you this. Give me uh, uh, First King eight, verse forty six. This is the solution. This is the way out. I, I didn't even go to the uh, to the curse because that seems about to rain. Give me that. The book of First King, chapter eight, and verse forty six. If they sin against thee, this is Solomon speaking. Solomon is giving a prophecy about Israel, things to come. If Israel sin against God, read. For there is no man that sinneth not, uh -uh. and thou be angry with them, and deliver them to the enemy. And you angry with them, and deliver them to the enemy. Why? Because they didn't sin. Me. They they carried away, carried them away captive unto the land of the enemy far and near. Then we were we delivered here as slaves. It says they delivered them to captive far or near, far from Jerusalem and close to Jerusalem. We yet if they shall bethink themselves. The key word says yet. It, if they shall bethink themselves, to bethink me to remember. If you remember who you are, read. In the land of whether they were carried captive. Which is where we are today. Right. The land that you were carried captive. Right. 
Okay, we and repent and do what? And repent and repent. What is it that you gotta repent from? Give me Deuteronomy 20 and 25. I'm gonna show you what you gotta repent from. So you have something you can go home to, something you can teach your daughter as well. That this system is not teaching you. Right. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So it's telling you the woman are not supposed to. What do you think they're referring to? Pants. 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 Yes. It goes into. Yes. But God says he doesn't like that. But guess what? That's not the only thing. But listen to this. First Timothy chapter 2 verse 9. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. See that? You are a princess. Princess don't show too much. You wear dresses. You close yourself up because you preserve yourself for that. Uh, a prince for that king. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing you're going to teach your daughter to be. You know what I'm saying? To teach her those substance, those values. Why? Because other brothers will not take advantage of them when they're doing those things. How are you doing today, man? Check this out. We're going over why are we in the situation that we are in today? Uh, hey, sis, have a good day. All right, check the flyer out. I will. Why are we in the situation that we are in today? Where do you find yourself on this board? Judah. Okay, if you are from the tribe of Judah, what do you think God wants from you as as an Israelite from the tribe of Judah? Remember, Judah is the same tribe that Christ came from. So what does Christ look like? Huh? Yes, yes, if you black and the script look, look, you see this guy right here? Who is this guy? But who do you know this guy as? Jesus. Give me a second word to jump in I'm going to show you how the Bible is a true book. This guy was, was giving unto us as the Christ. But this is not the Christ according to the scripture. And we can prove that to you. Why are we doing that? We try to show you. If you can see yourself in the Bible, then you know who you are. And if you know who you are, then you know what requires from you. If you know what requires from you, you can repent from them. Right. You get what I'm saying? Watch this. The book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 11 and verse 4. For if he that cometh preaches another Jesus. If he that cometh, that means anybody that comes to you and teach you another Jesus. Me, who we have not preached. So that's telling you, there will be some that will come and teach you a different Christ that the Bible doesn't speak of. Right. That's what it's telling you right now. That's you paying right. attention? Bring it up. Watch this. Or if ye receive another spirit. Another spirit goes into a different um, understanding of the Bible. Read. Which ye have not received. Uh -huh. Which or, ne or another gospel which ye have not accepted. Another gospel is because they're teaching you different gospel. they say the new gospel is to go and teach everybody um, to repent, to uh, 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 believe in Jesus, that Jesus and they will be saved. That is not the gospel of the Bible. Right, the true right. gospel of the Bible is telling you, you are Israel. Yes, you right. gotta repent. Uh, the whole world is giving unto you, but the only way you're gonna get it, you gotta repent. Right. You can't remain as African American and thinking you're gonna get the kingdom. Right. That ain't gonna happen. We. He might as well bear with him. Now let's see what Christ looked like. And then I'm gonna ask you a few questions. Give me that. Revelation chapter one. Book of Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants. Revelation mean what? To what? To reveal. Okay? Uh, 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 Christ is revealing something to John. He's revealing himself. You are about to find out. Jump to verse 11. Verse 11. Say, I am Alpha and Omega. Verse 10. I was in the spirit of the Lord's day uh -huh. and heard behind me a great voice uh -huh. as of a trumpet saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And what thou seest, write in a book. You see, he says, what you see, write it in the book. The voice that he heard was the voice of Christ. He says, whatever that you see, I'm about to show you, write it down. What does that tell you? That it's important, right? So everything that is written, that John written, had to be important because Christ right. told him, Write it down. Verse 13. And in the midst 
of the seven candlesticks, one light unto the Son of Man. Remember, John walked with Christ. He says, in the midst of the candlestick, he saw one that looked like the Son of Man, which is Christ. He clothed with a garment down to the foot. Now he's giving a description of that man. He had a dress that goes all the way to the foot. Read. And girt about the path with a golden girdle. And he had a golden girdle on. Read. His head and his hands were white like wool. Now it's giving you the texture and the color of his hair. Since he had woolly hair. Who have woolly hair today? Does this guy have woolly hair? That's already white. The scripture told you if anyone that come and teach you another Christ that the Bible doesn't speak, you know, that's garbage. We already know this is not the true Christ. This one we're right. hearing so far. Continue. His head and his hair were white like wool, uh -huh. as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes were red. Now think about it. Have you ever seen white people have red eyes? No. But whenever we drink, what, what color our eyes turn? Red. So it's telling you Christ, and the Bible prophesied in Genesis that Christ will have red eyes because he drank wine. It prophesied. Give me that so, so the brother can see what I'm saying. I'm not bringing it things out that is not biblical. Give me that. Genesis 49 12. This is the book of Genesis chapter 49 and verse 12. His, his eyes shall be red with wine. That his eyes will be red with wine. It's biblical. We're not making things up. Right. Now continue revelation. And his feet. Now I can see your feet. By seeing the color of your feet, I know the rest of your body, right? right. Now he said his feet. What color was his feet? Like unto fine bread. What color is this, my brother? Brown. Okay, read on. As if they were burned in a furnace. You burn brown in a furnace. What color would it come? You know? Black. Black. Yes. So how did we get this guy? Yes, this right. pale, red-skinned man right here. Right. With silk, straight hair. Yes. Who is this guy? Now, I'm going to show you something. If you've been deceived by this guy, what do you think? What other thing you think you've been deceived of? Message. Everything else. Like start with your name. I'm gonna show you something. Psalm 83. I'm gonna show you what how you're being deceived. And it's all of God plan, of course, because we sin against him. And that's what we're here for. Showing you the sin that we are in and how you can repent from it. Give me that. The book of Psalms, chapter 83 and verse 2. Bring it up. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. Now, if God have an enemy, obviously the chosen one has to have enemies as well. Right. Right? Would you agree? Because we are his chosen and God have enemies. Let's see, if you can't get with God, who is almighty, who are you going to try to get hands on? Like, let's say, if you were to have, if I have a brother, and you have something against me, and you know I'm too strong and powerful to hate you, but you see I have a younger brother, I'm not, I'm not around, what would you do? You take your revenge on that little one. That's the same thing. This is this. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They that hate God, they lift up their head. They become prideful. Okay? When you see them today, they'll kill you and feel no remorse. Right. Because they are in power. They, they trust in their in, in, in their power, knowing nothing can happen to them. Right. We, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people. A, a crafty counsel is a secret gathering. Right. They had a secret gathering against us. That's still going on till today. You have your tink tink. You have your secret gathering like they, they have at uh, the, the, the uh, uh, United Nations. Those places, we don't go there. They do. And that's where they plotted against us. We. And consulted against thine hidden one. Who are the hidden one? We are because we don't know our true nationality. We're the ones that are lost. We. They have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation. You hear that? Let us cut these people off from being a nation. Right. Israel is a nation. The 12 tribes is what make the nation of Israel. Right. He said, let us come and cut them off from being a nation. Meaning, let's give them different names. I'm going to call this one Haitian. Um, uh, uh, Haitian. I'm going to call this one African American. I'm going to call this one Jamaican. I'm going to call this one Puerto Rican. Guess what? When I see you, I say, hey, I'm a Haitian. I have nothing to do with you. When you're going through your trouble, you're going through your trouble. I'm not with you because I'm by myself. I am with the African American. I'm with the Haitian. I'm with the Puerto Rican. That's a divided to conquer. If we were to come together as a nation, we wouldn't be minority. We wouldn't be the majority. You following? That was their plot. Let's see what else. They are saying, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. The 
that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. You see that? That you are not knowing yourself as an Israelite. You will refer yourself to as African American, yes. Black, Haitian, Jamaican, Puerto Rican, Cubans. Uh, all these things have nothing to do with you. Right. Because your name is been erased out of your remembrance. That's, right. That's what the Bible just said. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.